We're high court enforcement agents. We've got high court there. I'd like to sort this out face to face. Debts of over £12 billion are owed to people across the UK. £1,200 and never got it back. And many of them struggle to get paid what they're due. It now looks like she's avoiding to deal with this matter. When all other attempts to settle a debt have failed... OK, so new job. ...specialist enforcement agents are called in to recover what's owed. And your time of expiry has come. Armed with a high court writ... All checking desks are going to be closed until this matter's resolved. The agents have the authority... If you think we're doing something illegal, call the police. ...expertise... Everyone can be found. We're easy. ..and the backup... We've made contact. We know they're there. ..to settle debts that no one else can. Our agents use as a last chance saloon. They take payments in cash. £6,200. Or seize and sell possessions. The car's been taken control of. But I need to go on. ..to finally get the debt paid. This is 70 grand here. <laughs> In these unprecedented times, agents are busier than ever. Ooh, put me? But the challenge to recover the money from those that won't pay... Doesn't need to be this difficult, does it? No, but I think it will be this one. ...has never... Damn, don't touch me. ...been greater. He's going to call his brothers. I don't think it's to pay. Let's go. Debt never sleeps. Lovely weather, isn't it? I'm feeling great energy. Come day. I always love the morning visits. It's a new day. It's a new approach. Or night. Day in, day out, yeah. I'll go around, clamp cars and reel them in, as it were. The game shall continue. High Court enforcement agents are on the case. Oops. Thank you, Mark. Wakey, wakey. The airline case, 11.05, closed. There is assets inside there. Doesn't look like they're doing a fly. <laughs> airline. When airline flights are delayed, customers can sometimes claim compensation or refunds. In called China. <laughs> but getting your money back isn't always easy. Many customers seek legal help. We've done thousands of these claims. We have found clients getting really frustrated. Unfortunately, it is quite common for airlines not to pay. But what we've found the most is just a lack of communication. If we simply get no response, high court enforcement is really the only option we and our clients are left with. And today, agents Casey and Alex are on the case. So how exciting, we're on our way to the airport. Ooh, we like these ones. They're trying to collect a refund owed to a passenger since 2019. So we are going to the delightful Heathrow Airport. We have a major airline that owes money. The agents have the authority to seize and sell the airline's property to repay the debt. And the main assets an airline has at an airport are the planes. Their flight to New York leaves in just under two hours' time, mm -hmm. and we will stop the check-in yep. and inform them that their plane is to be grounded unless the amount owed is paid in full. And if that doesn't work, then we would have to get a special escort from the airport police onto the grounds to clamp a plane. Let's go. Make a move. Since COVID, we've had a massive increase in these type of cases. And it's not just this particular airline. There's been five, six, seven, eight major airlines that have been in the same situation. Yeah. So in we go and <clears throat> see what we can do. Once inside... I'll talk to the police. They inform security that they're there to collect. Hello, sir. How are you doing? You've got a warrant for Delta. <laughs> Would you believe? Thank you very much. We'll find them. Thank you. It's the check-in for a New York flight. OK. High court enforcement. We've got a high court writ for the airline. Check-in's closed till this matter's resolved. Coming up... She's begged that the check-in be allowed over. No. Will Casey and Alex have to clamp a plane? She did call the police. Listen, no one ever thanks us for turning up. Mark and Virgil want evidence. There's no contract, no invoice, no nothing. 
And Alex. Hello. Wants answers. We've come three times. We need to sort this out now. So we're easy. At the moment, all checking desks are going to be closed until this matter's resolved. Agents Alex and Casey have closed the check-in desk of an airline. They owe just under £3,000 to one of their customers. We got a writ. There's an amount of money that is owed. Okay. And unfortunately, we've been sent here today to seize goods. Can we speak to the manager? We need to get someone down here to speak to us. What a day for you, huh? The check-in staff get their manager on the phone. Thank you very much. Hi, my name's Alex. We've been instructed to uh, to attend here today because there's been no response regarding a, a High Court matter. There's a passenger who hasn't been refunded and it's gone all the way through to the High Court and the High Court has issued a writ to seize goods. But the manager isn't convinced the agents have the authority to close the check-in desk down. We can, I'm afraid. We do have quite a lot of power in relation to the seizure of goods. Unfortunately, we are, we, we com we're commanded by the High Court. We are able to seize the aircraft that is on the tarmac. It may seem slightly disproportionate when you're perhaps seizing a 50 million pound asset for a, a debt that is maybe only a few thousand pounds. However, it's the power that we have and it's brilliant leverage in order to resolve those type of cases. Are you a person in a position who's able to pay the amount that's owed? Because at the moment, we're obviously instructed to make sure that the, the, the check-in is closed. If a flight is delayed... Yep, no worries. ..the airline could face further fines. So what she said is she wants us to go meet her in her office around Terminal 3. But she's begged that the check-in be allowed open. No. no. So the airline has gone into meltdown because we've just closed their flight check-in to New York. Oh, we're not doing check-in here, sir. It's on delay right now. There was about three or four people going to check in. There's now four, more and more people turning up, so the queue's getting longer. But the airline isn't giving up. Hello there, you're right. Check-in is to remain closed until payment is made. If you are able to make the payment, we can do that over the phone and then the check-in can just carry on as normal. OK, I can't do anything about it. I've been instructed check-ins to remain closed. If you want to make your way over here, I will wait here for you. No worries. OK, bye-bye. Bye. OK, she says she's on her way over, so we'll have to wait and see uh, when she gets over here. And I said, can't do anything because I've asked her for payment over the phone and, and it's been refused. And I said to her, we, we, can, we can go over, we can go over and speak to you, but after the payment's been made. For it to get to this stage, I would imagine that the passengers made numerous efforts to contact them to get, to get her money back. It's a lot of money for someone to be owed by a, a multi-million pound company. It is very much a David and Goliath situation, and today we're trying to, to help David win. She's on her way over. Agents Casey and Alex are at Heathrow. They are trying to get money back for a customer owed a refund by an airline. Sit here, I promise. Okay? Thank you so much. No worries, thanks. The manager arrives and asks them to reopen check-in. The issue that we have is every time we've done this in the past, it's taken up to six hours to get it resolved. It's not saying it's you, but in general, from other airlines, we've done this on numerous occasions. So in order to get the lines reopened, all we can do is take payment. Okay, and we can open them straight away. And do you have your credentials and all things like that? You can take a picture of that if you want. If that's OK. Show you the rest. This is who it's from. This yeah. is the person that's actually claiming from you. Yeah. This is the amount. Yeah. OK, OK, so can they... I'm here, yeah, here sure. so can they start checking this? Yeah, let's just get it cleared. It'll take two minutes. The manager hands over a credit card. I might need to see it cleared. It's taken over an hour. Check in. But payment is made in full. But can they... They can open now. It's all done. Go. Let me just calm down a little bit. No, that's fine. That's fine. We're not that type of organisation. I know. 
You're not the only airline that we've had to be here for. I can't understand how the court can actually say that they can suspend I'll, I'll, ex I'll explain everything. I did call the police because I didn't know you from Adam. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, do you know what I mean? We get that all the time. It's, it's perfectly I'm normal. Just... Listen, no one ever thanks us for turning up. The New York flight is good to go. And the passengers have a quick-thinking member of staff to thank for that. Um, I'll phone you back in a minute if I'm able. I've had to pay off of my own credit card. She was a bit shaky, but now she realizes who we are. She did call the police, however. Got the rip there from the court. You want to see it? Of course, she has every right to be suspicious, getting a phone call saying that her counters have been closed. It's all done now, gents. We're going to leave now. Thanks for your uh, assistance. Thank you, guys and girls. Thanks very much. Cheers. Took a little bit of wearing and tearing and bringing down the management, but they were lovely when they got here. They just wanted to do everything to trust to make sure that we were actually legit and real. It was a shock factor. Yeah. It's got to this stage. I mean, it's a multi-million pound yeah. airline and it's a 3,000 pound debt. Coming up. This is the one we're looking for, isn't it? A surprise for Mark and Virgil. I just don't get it. I'm just gobsmacked. Sherry.